Welcome back. Five days out from Sunday's Derby and the big question is, will Nat Fife play? The Docker star joins us live now. Nat, welcome. Can you tell us, are you going to be OK for Sunday? Tomorrow, Ryan, thanks, will give us a bit more of an update. Uh, I'll try and get through main training and that'll really give us an idea whether I'll be available for selection. So what needs to happen at training tomorrow? Do you need to be pain-free or can you play through it to some degree? Yeah, it's a plantar fasciitis injury, so I've been dealing with it for about three months. And every now and then it just spikes in how much it inhibits you. So I've got to get through most of training and be in a place physically and mentally where I feel like I'll be able to contribute really well. Um, positively, the rest of my body is tracking really nicely on my build back to full fitness. For those who don't really know what plantar fasciitis is, can you just describe the injury a little bit for us and then what the recovery process can look like? Yeah, it's a really common injury amongst athletes and the general population. Inflammation in a ligament under your foot, um, and it just grumbles for months and months and months. You can just Im implement a few different strategies to try and help deal with the pain. First thing in the morning is quite tender, um, and for a lot of life you can get through and continue to train, but every now and then it flares up like it did for me last week. Yeah, so when did you make the call last week to miss the kangaroos clash? Pretty much 24 hours out from the game. Um, Try to get through some training and didn't quite feel like I was in a position. And early in the season, as I said, with my comeback to full fitness, there was no need to take any extra measures to try and get me up just for that game. Um, I'm building back to full health and that's still a couple of months off. Um, and hopefully this little niggle is one of the last pieces of the puzzle before I'm back to full fitness. Now, there's a famous story in footy, St Kilda star Robert Harvey, a fellow two-time Brownlow medalist. He jumped off his table onto concrete to rupture the tissue and it speeds up the healing. Have you considered doing anything crazy like that? <laughs> it's amazing how many people think plantar fasciitis and then retell the Robert Harvey story. Um, <laughs> It's, uh, it's a bit of a legend. I haven't considered anything as drastic as that because it's quite a critical part to the foot structure. Um, so I'll leave Robert Harvey to have that legend. <laughs> now, your new role in the forward line, how are you feeling about it after the St Kilda game? Yeah, it was uh, a tough initiation, but um, probably knew that was going to happen. I kicked a couple of fluke goals in the pre-season and maybe got the expectations and hype up a little bit more than what was realistic. Uh, playing as a full-time forward is going to take a lot of time to figure out how to do it consistently and my performances are going to be up and down for a number of weeks. The team didn't perform as well as they would have liked and neither did I. Um, and we've got to be patient uh, and continue to put the work in as we get our season going and as I start to figure out this role as a forward. So you are a forward now, but do you still want to have a run in the midfield every now and then if you're required? <laughs> Uh, look, uh, to be honest, I'm fully focused on playing as a forward and working with Jamie Graham and JL and adding layers to my game as I figure out the forward craft. But I've got to go back to day one um, and there's going to be a lot of criticism come my way and that's fine. I've got to have the courage to see through that and at some point I'll hopefully be able to play some, um, some stoppage work. But at this stage, uh, I'm keen on playing as a forward. I reckon you're up for the challenge. Best of luck at training tomorrow, Nat. Hope to see you out there on Sunday. Thanks, Ryan.